Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be talking about some cool information I found out by one of my colleagues working here, and he's like, you got to tell the people, I'm like, yeah, we definitely need to let these people know that Windows is actually enforcing um, SSDs into your main laptop, that the brand new laptop that you're going to buy, it's going to have an SSD in it instead of having a mechanical hard drive in it. We have this nice little article that actually goes into it. If you're interested, you can go ahead and check it out. You can see that Microsoft is uh, trying to stop boot drives by... 2023 with hard disk drives in them and they're trying to push more to SSDs it talks about the requirements here how it doesn't normally typically require that and um, you know there's always a certain requirement anyway you need 64 gigs of this space at least but it doesn't say it needs to be an SSD or HDD or anything but I really think what this is going to do is try to push for the industry a lot more so we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, just briefly about like the pros and cons and first what is it anyway what's going on a hard disk drive is the mechanical hard drive that you have in most likely uh your laptop or if you have especially like in a desktop at least for storage space or for at least a boot drive now for a boot drive if you ever notice how your laptop gets kind of slow over time or like within maybe a few months or a few years like man it's just starting to get slow isn't it just like it was brand new that usually means the mechanical drive has a lot more wear and tear on it and maybe starting to fail a little bit so you just want to make sure that you back that up now using uh that this mechanical drive as a boot drive there's lots of things that are going on in the background right so you have a main operating system you have lots of stuff going on in the background you also have storage of the drive so he needs access to storage there's lots of stuff going on there and it's not a very good thing to actually use for main uh, boot drives and boot devices there and it's more for a storage drive because you can access it storage they come they're very very cheap to get a lot of storage in them and they're more made for that um, obviously we do data recoveries we focus on doing data recoveries on them as well a lot of places do data recoveries on those drives as well because they do fail very very often and if you watch any of our videos that do that that talk about that you'll see that they actually do fail often so um, whenever people come in they're like hey man my computer's slow the first thing i even think about is do you have a mechanical hard drive for a boot drive for a boot drive in there and if we upgrade you an ssd i always tell people it's gonna be faster than the day that you actually bought it and you'll see that it boots usually within a few seconds uh, just going in and out of applications is a lot faster it's definitely a good way to do that so that's a little bit of a description of what it really is now um what can be the good things and bad things about this obviously i talked a lot about the good things and how they don't fail as often um, they do have a, um, a pretty much a, a lifespan though for a solid state drive it does have a capacity it does fail eventually too it usually goes by about terabytes written to the drive you can go ahead and check out if you have a hard drive or if you want to go to samsung website actually i can pull that up here so you can see like uh here's a good example of like a samsung drive and the warranty that covers it and the different levels that that uh that are for terabytes written and you can see the usually the higher the capacity the bit the longer the longer the longevity there's a whole other video we actually make we could just make another video on that we'll probably want to do that now especially if they really do enforce this and this becomes actually official we talk a lot about the pros now we also want to talk a lot about uh, the cons here so when you have a mandatory ssd that means you're requiring something right for it to be a drive it's not by the manufacturer because the manufacturer can make uh, however they want to go if they want to make a maybe a $300 price point for a laptop or $400 price point for a laptop mechanical drive does make that a lot easier now if they have to switch usually there are things that they can do uh, we have this is like a no name uh, brand SSD you'll see a lot of them that don't have any uh, branding on it whatsoever it's just a very very uh, cheap SSD now the the controller isn't as great and the, and the flash longevity isn't as great as a typical like higher end one like a Samsung Evo or Samsung Pros um, but they still will get the job done but they're still um, not going to be as fast but it's still an ssd right so it's still going to be pretty decent anyway um, a cheap ssd is still going to be better than a cheap mechanical hard drive almost every single day of the week as far as a boot drive goes you're still going to get all the benefits from it it'll still boot uh, very quickly and the failure rate still isn't as quite high as it would be on like a cheaper mechanical drive but then you're always risking that right now uh, for macbooks um, they've had ssds in there since i think the 2012 um, not af after the late 2012 MacBook Pro was the first uh, MacBook to require an SSD. They usually have SSDs that are like this one, and this is just like this one, and this is just a nice uh, SSD that's in there. And eventually, they moved on to what the storage is built onto the board itself. There, the RAM's built onto the board. There's lots of everything is built onto the board now, especially with the M1, M2 uh, MacBooks that have come out. You can see everything's integrated to that. So it kind of it was great well it started because you have removal ones like this you can have it so if you have a problem with your data you can go ahead at least remove it and 
you can extract data from these. They're, they're, they can still fail. Obviously, there are problems with it. We have a lot of uh, videos talking about these actually failing, but it's great that you can at least remove it. If the board fails, you get liquid spill on the board. It doesn't just short automatically to the NAND flash. You can remove it um, unless you get liquid, obviously, on it. <laughs> but that's a different story. We do data recoveries on those as well if you want to go check that out. Now, there's also other drives that, that you see. A lot of the newer ones do have um, either some type of um, you'll see like the, the some of the smaller ones that have like a small uh, storage, which is like a 64 gigabyte solid state drive. It's called EMMC storage, and it does. It, they're usually part of the motherboard as well. They're usually on like cheaper laptops. They're on much cheaper laptops, and uh, you probably don't see them as much now because usually the Windows 11 requirement is for at least a minimum of 64 gigs, so you don't see them as much now. But you've seen them on a lot of other cheap laptops, usually be 300, 400 dollar price point. So those are the facts about so the pros and cons about having an SSD over mechanical drive and this push forward. Now, my thought on it is a lot of Intel machines, right? They they have Optane drives, uh, usually like a combo drive, how it, ha how it might be actually on the actual um, SSD itself. Some of, them, some of them that look like this have actual Intel Optane built onto the drives. Maybe it's a push forward for that to make that more mandatory. Maybe it's just a push for Windows 11 to seem very fast and it's going to be a much faster operating system because every drive has a fast solid state drive in it so it's going to make windows 11 launch a little bit well i guess not launch because it's been out for like over a year already but it's going to make all windows machines seem a lot faster a lot more reliable and a lot less prone to failures that's really probably what they're trying to do is trying to do that um I don't think it's really for like a price or control thing. Uh, we just got to hope that more manufacturers don't ever get to a point where they're, they're consolidating everything on the board where you can't remove the RAM, you can't remove the solid state drive. So if you have any type of power failures on there, if you didn't already back up your drive to the cloud or have a second backup of it, then um, if, you're, if, the, if the board shorts out completely, maybe the CPU shorted or if the NAND flash shorts, just like on some of the MacBooks that we have, if you're interested in those videos, we actually have those on our channel talking about that and having repairs based on that because um, everything is consolidated to the board. It helps performance when it's good, but if there's ever a problem, you have, um, you're gonna, you have a big chance of losing your data, especially everything stored on the local machine there. So anyways, guys, just like a quick little talk, just giving like pros and cons about it. Um, if you guys found this video informative, please leave a like, it really does help us a lot. Um, definitely do that, especially because uh, we want to really show people the information that we have here. And we do lots of repairs on our videos, and if you hit that like button, it really does help YouTube's algorithm show our videos to more people. And we really appreciate that too, and you can give them more information. So just go down there, hit that like, it really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We do lots of talking points if there's any type of cool um, video. If there's any type of cool information that's out there or something that you guys should, should need to know, what do you guys think down below? Do you think this is going to be a good move that they're requiring it, it for people? Or do you think it's a good move because it's just really going to help push the industry forward? And we should only use mechanical drives just for maybe storage drives. And uh, maybe this will make everything get cheaper because maybe there'll be more manufacturers and make everything cheaper in the long run. What do you guys think? I'd love to know your uh, comments down below. And um, see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.